what's up everybody this is your girl miss p i hope that you are doing fabulous darling i am doing amazing it looks wonderful outside i deserve come on y'all hey i deserve i deserve for you to thumbs up this video go ahead and thumbs up this video subscribe if you haven't already it is free 99 go ahead and get into my favorite app of the moment feature points you can get a bunch of gift cards and stuff i absolutely love it and i use it every single day okay max he's here say hey max he don't, he don't want to be here. I did want to get into a mini what you say happened now because Twitter has gone ablaze. All social media has gone ablaze with Miss Caitlyn Jenner, honey. She done came out on Vanity Fair like, hey, how y'all doing? Ooh. Do that, pumpkin. Do that, okay? And for all the negative people that have so much to say about her being a dude and I'm going to call her Bruce. She don't know you anyway. She can give two shats what you think about her living your truth, okay? Nobody can make you happy but you, boo. Oh, and there was some more Kardashian news. Um, Kim, she gonna have another baby. Lil' Southwest gonna pop into the world. She better name that baby Southwest. It better not be something crazy. What you think she gonna name that baby? It's gonna be something so outrageous. We gonna be like, the fuck? So yes, that was the mini what you say happened. Now, if you see something in the news that you think that I would love to talk about, make sure to hit me up and you never know. I just might put it in the video. It's time to to get into another review of love and hip-hop last week was the um merge between parentheses and yanzi i didn't watch it i'm sorry i actually recorded my review of love and hip-hop last night i could easily go back into it with this lighting but honey you know some shade that i do some little things i do here and there you can't recreate that type of stuff so hopefully you guys enjoy oh lord so we start out with a prayer the organ is swelling and mama d is praying i said oh hell this this ain't gonna turn Turn out too good but I, I closed my eyes in prayer so that I could be a part of this scrappy what's scrappy last name what's mama D last name I don't even know their last name I, I anyway we're at scrappy's abode she was like father God in the name of Jesus I said oh okay this just might get through to him it might get to the throne Jasmine is there Ernest's mama is there everybody is in attendance so that they can get down to business and have this soul food you kill big mama meeting okay well mama D opened up her eyes and looked around the table I knew that prayer was no and the void rip the check up not gonna be used at any local bank yes for the red kool-aid on fleek it was just sitting there and you saw the big old chunks of ice in it you knew that was some good red kool-aid you know what what flavor is red I've only known red growing up I never knew any of the flavors I knew orange but I don't like orange kool-aid but red kool-aid ooh, and that great Scrappy would like, you know what I'm saying, before we get into this and dig into the cornbread and all that stuff, um, you dig that? I think everybody should be like respectful, you dig? And, uh, yep. <laughs> Amity wants to really express herself and what had happened was to Ernest's mother. And she said, Ernest, mama, I ain't understand the ramifications of my actions. Oh, Lord. Then the mama started crying because she didn't, she could not understand. She could not fathom why she would send her baby boy to prison. Ernest's mama was like, I don't care if the drugs was on my baby's forehead. You shouldn't have sent him to jail. You shouldn't have passed me a biscuit. Mama D in her confessional with these hand signals, if I could, I would. Yeah, Mortal Kombat finishing move. Jasmine done came out of nowhere talking about, you don't understand, he an opportunist. You come straight out of jail and go right back to her? The fuck? Mama Ernest was like, the fuck? That's right, I don't understand that. And Jasmine said, hypocrite. Mama D went straight Debo across that table. <laughs> I was hollering. I'm gonna lay hands on you, you dig? Scrappy was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. No paws are gonna be laid on anybody. Do you understand why? Because we all have warrants in here. We can all go to jail. I'm not going back. I'm not going. We were like, okay, Scrappy, chill. You know what? With the whole Scrappy family, I think they all need to get down to the root of the issue. Prima Donna, I'm guessing, is one of the supporting, supporting cast members now. She wants to have this big old waist training event. So she's enlisting the help of Messy Marvin Nina. Ah, uh, Dawn. Something about Dawn just rubbed me the wrong way. I don't know what it is, but every time I see Dawn, I'm like, 
Oh my God, my juice. Jessica Dime is there because she knows Prima Donna from back in the Miami days. Prima Donna was like, I would love for you to be there and you know, walk. And she was like, bitch, all this, I don't need no waist trainer. She was like, well, bitch, you need something to do. She was like, you right. <laughs> Jessica Dime is spilling all the tea on what was going on with Mimi, Jazzy Faye at the studio. And yes, I do agree with Dawn. And like I said in the last review, you don't bring no other artists to another artist's uh, session. You don't do that, boo. That's stupid. While they're still spilling all this tea on the floor, Prima Donna spills the tea of what she learned from Jocelyn's party about the sex tape. So Don's messy ass in this confessional is talking about, yeah, so I invited Nico and his wife and also Mimi because it should be a nice event. <laughs> Messers. We are back to rehab and finally Stevie J is getting discharged. For the last five episodes, I have been so tired of going to rehab. I felt like I need to check in and get a sticker. You know, I hate talking about people's hair, but where did that counselor get that awful ass wig from? I said, oh my God, burn that shit with Jocelyn. Stevie was like, you know, with God on my side, I feel as though I got everything in control of my rectangle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Speaking of messiness, Frico is meeting up with Margo at the gym. He wants to know, you know, how they can get back on track, you know what I'm saying? And she's like, you know what, Frico, I just don't want to be embarrassed anymore. That's, that's just it. That's it. He was like, yo, listen, listen, let me fix this. You, you got on that plane for a reason, you know what I'm saying? I was wondering, how in the hell did Margo get sucked back into Frico's little trap? But just like that, she was putty in his hand. She said... Yeah, you're right. You're right. Maybe because I love you, Nix. I love you. I said, oh, fuck, fuck. But you have to listen. I'm not a bird in a cage. I want to go out sometimes. Well, bitch, go on out. Open the door. Look outside and go somewhere. If you want to go to Starbucks, get your happy ass in the car and go. Frico does not have a leash on you that we know of. Frico look crazy as hell though. Doesn't look like he do some crazy ass shit in the night. He tells her about the Way Shaper event and he was like, it'll be a good way for us to, you know what, take over Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? She was like, yeah. Adam's apple, Kirk, goes to see Ashley at her rehearsal. You don't really love me, yeah, yeah. Adam's apple has orchestrated this whole promo tour. I said, so that he can get some money back. So Kirk is telling Ashley that it was her fault that she figured it out and she need to be quiet. No, Kirk, it's your sloppy ass that brought Ashley into this mess with her flappy gums and you messy as hell and you stay light. And another thing, if this is your wife and you love her and you want to repair the relationship, why the hell are you letting artists come in talking about your wife being very disrespectful? I was like, okay, the shade, the little comments here and there, but I mean repeated shade. Okay, palm tree, get it together, Kirk. I do have to ask this though. How old is Rashida? I, ju I just want to know because everybody keep bouncing around this subject. I don't know. Jocelyn, we finally see Jocelyn this episode and she has a photo shoot. It's for some type of magazine. I didn't get the name of it because I couldn't understand what she was saying. But her daddy is coming home because she waited for this photo shoot so that they could do it together because it's like a bride and a groom together. Kalina Dina is good friends with Jocelyn and of course she's probably worked with Stevie before. She comes over not just because she wants to see Jocelyn but she need to ask Stevie can you please talk to Tony so he don't spend all our monies? Because we ain't got no more money. Jocelyn, of all people, told her, why don't you invest in, like, some stock? A bitch yourself? Like, do your music and stuff like that. I mean, I wouldn't work with no, nobody that spend all our money like that. But, bitch, that's your money, so. Mm -hmm. Stevie comes in, and I guess he's going to talk to Tony. But he really had eyes for Jocelyn. And Jocelyn was like, oh, my God, I miss you so much. And I think I'm ready for a baby. And he was like, you know what? I think I can work that out. I got this sleazy special sauce to give you. But wait, Ma, I got to go to court. I got to go to New York. But you can't go, boo. You know why you can't go? First of all, I don't need you clouding on my headspace with all that gotta, gotta. I got to do this by myself. That photo shoot made me holler. I mean, she in off-white. He's in pure Holy Ghost white. I just could not. I was like, what the hell is this? Womp, womp. So Rashida can't freeze Adam Apple's and hers account because it's her and Adam's Apple's account. She just is salty as hell. It's time for him to go on the promo tour and Ashley is in the car. I said, if this isn't planet, how in the hell is the car right there? The window is down. You looking right at this bitch and he just walking out with his suitcase like, do do do, do do do, huh? 
Adam's apple stay doing the most with that mouth. Rashida, you a better one than me. I don't know how you stay with somebody. I don't care the love, the kids, whatever. You stay with somebody that blatantly is disrespecting your ass. And I know this is on TV and maybe half of this stuff is staged, but how in the hell are you going to do that? I don't get it. I don't understand the Adam's apple. First of all, the Adam's apple. I just, I, oh my God, I can't. I just cannot with Kirk. I cannot with him. Every time he says something, you, I just look at him like, and Ashley just yap, 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 yap. And she like, oh, this is a nice little ranch that you guys have. Whenever I get some money for d -Lo, I'll get you guys some grass. I said, oh, big, oh, oh my God, oh my God, my juice. Rashida, you better bitch than me. She kept getting closer. Well, actually, Rashida knew exactly what she was capable of doing, but she knew for the show she could not do that. She could not grab that bit by the hair because she got to stay on this show. But I know she, she kept inching. Y'all saw she kept inching closer and closer and closer. And Ashley knew because she told the driver, can you unlock these um, children's locks for the windows? Because I need to... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I told y'all I was done with the frost. I can't with the frost family next artists and mama d are um, popping popcorn um rubbing baby magic on each other having wine and they're watching netflix and then right before the movie mama d wants to talk about this whole getting married situation and what they gonna do she was like it's been like 20 years Ernest, you need to show up for me because i deserve she was like look i'm 51 you 52 shit you like pork rinds and pork skins and pork chops that i be making you we're gonna die about 20 years shit what we gonna do he was like look this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna upgrade that promissary ring you dig that i'm gonna do that for you and then we gonna work on the engagement and she was like, okay, play. He gonna ring around your rosy for the rest of y'all life. Cause you deserve to be loved. Rashida has come up with a nice idea when it comes to getting the money back that Kirk has just blown and is auctioning off a lot of his stuff, such as Versace necklaces that you don't really need. All of those miscellaneous Jordans. I said, oh shit, you gonna really get some money, bitch. Oh, God. <laughs> you gonna really blow a fuse. Erica came by and she's along for the ride because I guess she ain't had nothing else to do. She doesn't drop the money off at camp. We'll see. Stevie's getting ready for his court appearance. He has his Malcolm X garb on. He's having prayer with his passer. He gets out of the car and there goes Jocelyn Hernandez. She's there for her man because first of all, she done ran out of rehearsal time and she had nothing to do probably so she wanted to meet up with Stevie and she wanted to support her man. I said, yes, Jocelyn, you better support your man. It's time for the waist train event of the century, honey. And I have to say, it looked real cute in there. Maybe it was the camera angles, but it looked cute. We see Arian. Hey, girl, her boo is with her. I said, hey, girl, okay. Here comes Mimi with her hut two sequins on. I said, okay, Mimi. Come on in. As Prima Donna is doing her intro, talking about, look at here, everybody have a good time, get your weight up, you know what I'm saying, so that you can get these waist trainers, you feel me? Um, here comes Frico and Margo. I said, y'all better make an entrance. They are sitting, like, right across from each other, and here's Margo the whole time, like, having a heart attack. Oh, my God, Mimi is right there. He's like, yo, calm down, calm down. We're gonna have a good night. Do you want to drink? Calm down. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm like, girl, calm down. Your ass, calm down. Jessica Dime comes out and she's modeling, and I was like, Jesus Christ! I mean, had the cat suit. Rear, rear. At the end, when everybody was clapping, Margot was like, "We have to go right now. We have to get out of here." Margot, you knew you were running into some shat, okay? You knew that already, sweetheart. Dealing with Frico. Frico was like, "Look, we can leave, okay? But I think we should just introduce ourselves." You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting here like Margot, like the fuck you mean you want us to introduce ourselves like they don't already know who we are i was done so next week it's going to be the pointing finger royale okay at the waist trainer event down below in the comment section let me know your thoughts what did you think of caitlin jenner on the cover of vanity fair what did you think about mama d and Ernest? do you think they gonna tie that knot do you think that everybody should have been at the waist training event and last but definitely not least, what would you do if you were Rashida? Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next review. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye!